by Roy Mabasa presidential spokesman Harry Rock Jr. Echoed the president's stand that Calamard is not a competent and impartial rapporteur on the government's anti-drug campaign. Nonetheless, Malakanang advised the spokesman of the United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights not to judge President Rodrigo Duterte based on his penchant for colorful language but instead focus on what he stands for and the values he holds dear. Presidential spokesperson Harry Rock, Jansen Romero slash Manila Bulletin Rock pointed out that the remarks made by the president when he was in Vietnam where he said he will slap UN Special Rapporteur Agnes Calamard were addressed to a Filipino audience who are used to the chief executive's unorthodox rhetoric. On Tuesday, UN High Commissioner for Human Rights spokesperson Rupert Colville condemned Duterte for the latter's statement against Calamard. We condemn the treatment of MS. Calamard and the disrespect it shows to the Human Rights Council that appointed her in the strongest terms, Colville said in a statement. The way she conducted herself does not befit her office. Lest we forget, she came unannounced to the country in May this year even while the terms of her official visit were still being finalized. And she did so using an event organized by a group that was extremely critical of the administration and presenting herself as a resource person for that event. Her arrogance in going through the back door not only went against protocol, but is deeply insulting, the palace spokesman said. Rock said he hopes Colville would also take the time to look into the manner on how human rights experts ought to conduct their business with and in states concerned such as, in an unbiased and transparent manner free of all political machinations in accordance with their code of conduct and ethics. He also stressed that President Duterte's standing offer to host a global human rights summit shows that the present administration welcomes disinterested and apolitical human rights experts into the country. We believe there must be a venue for dialogue where human rights, given the wide array of rights it covers, can be discussed from a global perspective and not from the view of politicized individuals, he said. The palace spokesman further assured the UN human rights officials that as the concurrent presidential advisor on human rights, he will take steps to ensure that the Philippines discharges its obligations in protecting and promoting human rights, especially the right to life. Tags, UN Rapporteur Calamard Biased Palace Spokesman